Hi there! Have you ever used Mojo scripts in Roblox? Or maybe you haven't because you've heard how difficult it is to use Mojo scripts in Roblox. Well, Roblox has listened to those concerns and has released an update that makes using Mojo scripts much more effortless. And I think the reason they're doing that is because they don't want to hear any more excuses for not using module scripts in Roblox. Let us now go to Studio and take a look at an example of how to use module scripts the old way. And then we're going to look at how much easier to use it using the new Roblox release. All right, so here we are inside Roblox Studio. Here you can see I have a ball. My ball has a script and the script has a module script. Let's first take a look at the module script. Basically, our module script just has a function to change the color of the ball to a new color. And now let's go and take a look at the script that is calling this module script. And here is our script. So to use the module script previously, you would have to do this require statement. So my module script is a child of this script. And this here is how we access the function inside the module script to change the color of the ball. Let us run test and take a look. So you can see the ball is orange right now. In three seconds, it changes to red. All right, so this here is the old way of using module scripts in Roblox. Now with the new Roblox release, you don't have to do it this way anymore because there's a lot of typing here, right? So what you can do now is instead of doing it this way, you can just drag this module script and put it at the same level with the script. So you don't have to declare the module script as a child of the script anymore. It can be at the same level with the script. And instead of doing all the typing, instead of typing in script here, you can just go here and change it to dot forward slash and followed by the name of the module script. So I'm going to remove the dot here. Now you can see there's a red underline here. It doesn't like that name, so you need to put that name in quotations. That's much better. There's no more red underline means, or hopefully everything is good. Let's run test and take a look. And we're gonna give it three seconds. And you can see the ball color has turned to red. So you can see with the new release, there's much less typing. You don't even have to type the whole word script out. You can just use dot forward slash and there you have it. Just don't forget to put in the quotations. Otherwise it's not gonna like it. Now with this new release, you can also refer to the module script when it's not even in the same level with your script. For example, my module script is at a higher level. It's in the workspace. So instead of requiring the, the entire path, like the, the workspace and then go to the module script, I can just do this. I'm just gonna put in another dot here to go to a level above that. Let's run test and take a look. You can see the orange ball and it has turned red. And that is how you move up one level by using dot dot. Now, what if you're extremely lazy and you say, oh, typing module script here is too much. Well, there's a way to get around that. You can even get rid of this. So you don't even need the name of the module script. You can just say dot dot forward slash. And the only thing you need to do is you need to name this file, this module script file to init. And now how about we change this to 15 seconds and we're gonna play test and take a look. So I am on the moon, so it's gonna take me a while to land. You can see the wall down there is still orange and give it, I think 15 seconds we said, the ball has turned red. Now, what if you're one of those people who must have all your scripts inside the service script service? So you don't want any script inside the workspace, for example, the init module script and the script inside the ball, you want them to reside inside the service script service. How would you do it? Well, in that case, we can go to the service script service and how about we add a folder for the module scripts. So this is where all the module scripts are going to reside. We're going to name it module scripts. 
and let's move our init module inside the module scripts folder. Also, we want to go to the wall and we're going to grab this script. We're going to move it inside the service script service. And now we need to make a few changes. So our script is here and our init module is here. So our script is at the same level with the module. So we're going to say at the same level with the module script folder. So we're going to say dot that takes it to the same level. And we're going to say module scripts. Since this is an init module, we do not need to name it. Another thing we need to change here is script.parent is no longer valid. So we're going to say instead, we're going to say game.workspace.more. One other thing I'm going to change here, I want to speed this up a little bit, so I'm going to change this to 3 seconds wait instead of 15 seconds. And let's run test and take a look. So give it 3 seconds, and you can see our ball has changed color. Guys, that is the new release from Roblox regarding the module scripts. Now there are no more excuses not to use module scripts in Roblox. Hope you have enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.